Welcome first year calculus students. My name is Zainab and I'm here to talk to you about how to study for your upcoming calculus final. I myself am a student that is majoring in mathematics and I also work part-time as a math tutor. I remember being in first year. My first ever exam was my calculus exam and boy was I terrified. I had no idea how to study for a university exam, especially an exam for such a hard course. Over the course of my academic career and through my work, I've learned effective study methods specific to mathematics courses and have witnessed for myself where students generally have trouble when studying and why they encounter such problems. With that being said, let's dive into what you all can do to ace that final, shall we? So first, I'm going to be talking to you about proper time management and why you should avoid procrastinating. Calculus is definitely not a subject that you can leave until the last day to study for, with a few different topics to be covered. Then we will jump into effective note making, and I'm not talking about your conventional study notes here. I'm talking about making crib sheets and how those can help you study. And lastly, calculus requires practice. There are many ways to practice solving problems, from redoing your homework or assignment problems, to doing your textbook problems, and then doing practice exams. We must practice in order to really understand. So the main topics in any first year calculus course would be limits, derivatives, and integration. The very first thing you need to do before you start studying is create a schedule that allows for you to devote one day for each of these topics and one extra day for a cumulative review, which means at least four days for a standard first year calculus course. This is a good time management technique as it allows you to cover everything without being rushed and breaks it down so you don't feel overwhelmed. If you make a schedule beforehand, you're actually setting a goal for yourself, which is known to be one of the most effective methods to avoid procrastinating and managing your time properly. And you might be thinking, oh, so what? I procrastinated before and done really well. Well, remember, this is probably your first university calculus exam that's a whole different story from any other exam because calculus requires practice as opposed to memorization. And practice requires time. According to a study on academic procrastination in mathematics, it was found that procrastinators actually received a significantly lower examination grade than non-procrastinators. Now I know you all want to do well, so let's make a schedule for each topic you wish to cover according to your specific syllabus so you can set your goals and avoid procrastination. Now that we've covered how you should divide up your study time, let's talk about exactly what you should be doing during that study time. Usually making study notes is the way to go, but what I've found is that when it comes to making study notes for a calculus course, students just end up writing their lecture notes, but prettier. To allow information to really sink in, it's helpful to put information in a different shrunken form. Try making a crib sheet. Well, what is a crib sheet? It's a single sheet of paper with as much of your notes and formulas in a condensed form, especially things you feel that you have trouble with. You should add information to the crib sheet each day of your study plan so that you include information pertaining to each of the three calculus topics, limits, derivatives, and integration. The purpose, the purpose of a crib sheet is to be used for quick reference when working out problems and oftentimes, your professor will actually allow you to bring your crib sheet to your exam, but be aware of the restrictions that they have for you can, well, what you can and can't put on it. So even if you aren't allowed a crib sheet, I would still suggest creating one. Because writing down the formulas you must know on a single sheet of paper actually helps to reinforce your memory of them. Creating a crib sheet has also been found to help students prioritize and organize the course content for effective studying. So here's an example of what a crib sheet might look like. So how exactly are you going to know what you need to put on your crib sheet? By practicing. So you can realize what you have trouble with and focus on bettering yourself in those areas. Instead of blindly memorizing formulas and equations, it's better to practice the problems and really understand the process to solve them. While calculus does require memorization of formulas and processes, understanding how to use and apply them and the logic involved is far more important. For example, memorization of the formulas of the integration by parts is useless. Here's the formula. You can look at it, you can memorize it,
But if you didn't practice using it, will you understand how to use it on a test or what the variables even mean? Definitely not. The best way to practice is by redoing your old homework or assignment questions. And I say this because the problems you were assigned are at the level of difficulty your, your instructor would expect you to be able to tackle. The homework problems are also the ones that you should be doing for the three days that you are reviewing each topic and should be what you use to create your crib sheet. Another way to practice is to put yourself in a test-like situation. This should be done on the last day of your study plan, once you have reviewed each topic. Do end of chapter tests from your textbook, and any old exams from previous semesters with the aid of your crib sheet, unless of course you aren't allowed one. Practic practicing with an old exam is definitely something I would recommend, as an old exam will help you gauge the level of difficulty and the types of problems you will encounter on your exam. We've all heard that saying, practice made perfect. So let's practice. Well, that concludes my study guide. As you all learned today, creating a study plan, making a crib sheet, and a whole lot of practice are all intertwined and crucial parts of studying for a first year calculus exam. I encourage you all to take these tips and start studying early to find where your weaknesses are. Practice to enhance your understanding of calculus and avoid memorization. So you can all ace that final! Thank you.